And did you notice that I'm using the term estradiol rather than estrogen? If you didn't watch the previous episode, in that episode, I debunked a ton of the fear mongering that has dominated the hormone replacement therapy space as a result of the Women's Health Initiative study. And I gave a quick primer on the differences between estrogen, estradiol, progesterone, and progestins. Now, when we look at my wife's blood work, where we looked at her estradiol levels from a few years ago, what we see is that her blood levels were less than five picograms per milliliter. And I would ask you, are these at a level that would help protect her from bone loss in her postmenopausal years? The answer is no, they are not at a level of 60 or more. There are less than five in this blood report. Now, what about a year later? We waited about a year and we took another blood test to look at her estradiol levels. And you'll see once again, very low, less than five picograms per milliliter. Now, do you understand what happened here? There was an entire year of my wife living with estradiol levels that are low and not protective of her bone health. She's living an entire year with suppressed levels of estradiol such that she's more likely going to lose more bone mineral density than if she had higher levels of estradiol. 